Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. One of the best thing what I love about having a passive income and not relying on your job is this. The ability to be able to drop off your kids in the morning without rushing them. Well, not as much. That's probably my biggest I guess positive thing when it comes to positive um, earning a passive income because today um, I thought about what I was about to make is this <clears throat> I've seen some days I have to go to the city first thing in the morning some days I have to have a, a meetings um, and I get to train or if not I, I drive to, to, to town let's say and I was quite surprised if if people were at eight o'clock in the morning and they were dropping the kids off oh well they're having their children um, with them at eight o'clock in the morning in, in the middle of the city in my mind is what time does your kids have to wake up so that was daunt on me like since since our kids went to daycare, uh, I guess we, we never actually um, put an alarm on for them. Um, they naturally wake up whenever um, they want. So we never actually um, push them to get up early. And Friday is my day. Friday is um, technically I drop them off to daycare. Um, but our routine usually is like having breakfast together in the morning and um, everyone else seems to be already... Um, well, by the time we get to daycare, it's roughly like 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, now, I, I know if I were to still in my office job, let's say, I would not have the ability to do that. I would not have the ability to to drop off my kids to daycare and having a passive income I know it might not mean much but that means a lot for me for me it's the quality time with them as much as I can um, it's a lot more important than uh, me being in the office I guess that's the disconnection as well with a working life so my wife doesn't work, she works with, uh, in a sense, to take care of the kids most of the time, but I still have to running around, um, you know, a lot of meetings and do whatever it needs to be done and as to get our income growing, let's say. And yeah, and it's, it's fascinating that sometimes at seven o'clock in the morning, I've, I've seen parents already dropping the kids off to this, um, to daycare if if it was at seven o'clock in the morning wait bear with me a second ambulance if you drop off the kids at seven o'clock in the morning what time is the kids gonna get up so uh, I am kind of grateful that, that, uh, that I was able to manage and achieve this, uh, this type of lifestyle. Um, and I've seen, okay, if you live in the suburbia of Sydney, let's say, yeah, if, if you live in a suburbia of, or, or anywhere around, around the world, and you're working roughly at about, let's say, an hour away from, from home. So if you start at nine o'clock, that means you gotta go to work roughly, you have to you have to be at the public transport or in a car, start traveling to work at eight o'clock, if you're lucky. Um, so that means you probably have to get up at about seven o'clock in the morning. So seven o'clock in the morning, and that was maybe about 7.30. If you're a guy, probably you can you know um, get ready within half an hour or less. But then if you have children, that means you're gonna get up a lot more earlier because the children, it takes a long time. Well, for my kids anyways, um, it, 
it takes a while and for us like having sit down breakfast together as a family um, and having dinner together with a family again tw twice a day where we actually have um, quality time or quality meal time together is the most important thing um, there is in this world it's because when I was a child I, I never have that I never had the the, um, the luxury of having meals with both of my parents ever that I that I can recall anyway so yeah. and I didn't want that to happen to my child I want to have at least one meal the whole entire three uh, the whole entire four of us sorry or minimum like if I can do that and like at the very least is breakfast and dinner and yeah I guess not worrying about money can provide the lifestyle that you want my my thing like I get a kick out of it is the fact that I'm able to spend that quality time with them it's basically um, you know uh, brushing teeth with them get them ready um, yeah, my, my child was um, making a craft. Uh, my daughter actually made a craft um, at the at school. We call them school. It's daycare, and she gave that to me, and it's like the the best thing on earth. When I heard that, when, when he goes, "Daddy, I made this for you." So, and I realized with kids is like that they don't really need a lot of stuff. They they, they don't need a lot of presents. They don't need for you to buy them things I think from my understanding from our experience is quality time with them is the most important thing for them so yeah um, that's that was like our biggest thing uh, they don't even understand if it's brand new or second hand as long as they, they're able to utilize whatever it is that you give them they'll be happy on what it is that you give them and yeah, it was done. It, it was an eye opener, let's say. It, for my children, all they want is quality time together. I take them on a train trip. I take them on a ferry trip. Like a lot of public transport, they love that. And I can do that pretty much on the days that they don't go to, to daycare. We we send them to daycare three days a week, um, and the other four days of the week we have to um, I guess take turns or have the both of us taking care of our children and having ca passive cash flow not worrying about money that helps a lot that way you can just focus on 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 raising your children in my well in my case so I don't know what it is that you guys actually wanted when it comes to passive income or creating a uh, a cash flow uh, getting a passive income from by property or business or you know for whatever it is that you're doing but I realize I want to have quality time with my kids um, and I was able to do that um, along the side of having I think roughly about six properties that I have in my hand so it's, it's not that you you need a lot of properties. It's not a lot of that you need a lot of passive income. If you don't have a lot of expenses, it is much more quicker for you to achieve that financial freedom in a sense. So we limit on all of the stuff that we buy. We minimize our debt. We minimize our outgoing. Um, because of that, we were able to to create create a passive income a lot more quicker now obviously the higher that you have your debt load the longer you will be um, to achieve your financial freedom or to achieve passive income because our expenditure is quite low the fact that we uh, are running a family of four so yeah so what is it that you guys actually wanted um, in order for you to achieve like what, what is your goal my goal is quality time that that's my biggest thing um, your goal might be different than mine quality time is the most important because I never received that when I was a child and having um, you know passive income or having having 
um, cash flow positive property help that with our life. See you guys in the next video. Cheers, bye.